My god, a rescue team. I thought we would be trapped up here for days. We're looking for a guy in a hazardous environment suit. That sounds like John Skinner. He's the cleaner for this area of Black Mesa. He sometimes wears one of those suits when he's cleaning up chemical spills. I'm pretty sure he's hiding in one of the cubicles. Thanks. Jesus, Skinner, how the hell did you make it down here? Well, God knows, it doesn't matter anyway. From what the security network showed us before the military shut it down, we're all in deep trouble. We, the science team, were pinning our hopes on a guy named Freeman launching a satellite that would allow us to clean this mess up. But, uh, it seems the military have caught wind of our plans. They're bringing in a surface-to-air missile launcher that will be able to shoot the delivery rocket down mid-flight. Unless someone finds that damn thing and takes it out, tomorrow is going to be a very bad day for the human race. I think it's about time we left Officer Parry to his beverages, don't you?
Fine. You won't even know I'm here. I lead the out. Let's go. I certainly uh, yes. Let's go. I'm glad to oblige if I'm yes. I don't suppose with my brains and your brawn will make an excellent team. <laughs> Have I been that all right? Corporal Miller, this is Echo One. We're proceeding north to the data control office. ETA, 10 minutes. Have your men be prepared to pick up any personnel escaping from the eastern exit. Over. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice save, my boy. I've been trapped in that damn locker for hours. Still, I did manage to overhear those soldiers talking about a SAM launcher or something. Apparently, they're planning to use it to take out our satellite delivery rocket. Believe me, laddie, if that happens, we're in deep, deep trouble. The last I heard, it was stuck just beyond the helicopter pad, engine trouble or something. But it can still shoot. In other words, we've got to take it out, one time. Lead the way. Okay, laddie, as far as I go. Past this point, the action is going to get a whole lot more intense than I could handle. Remember, if you make it to the launcher, you won't be able to destroy it with ordinary weapons alone. You'll need to find something much more destructive. Good luck! You sure know how to put on a fireworks display. I came across from the data control office when I heard you were aiming to take out the SAM launcher. That's pretty much what I'm planning on trying myself. The only problem is this trail is flooded with soldiers and aliens. But you know what? To hell with them. Between the two of us, I think we can take them. Okay, why not?
Looks like I missed all the action. Oh, wait a minute. You're Skinner, right? If you're still trying to blow that launcher up, you might want to get yourself down to the lower levels. A friend of mine went down there, said some about setting up some explosives in the drain. Yes, the concurred upon plan involves setting up a number of explosive charges within a section of the drainage system beneath the launcher. It is well within theoretical limits that the ensuing detonation of such devices would be sufficient to blow the rocket launcher into oblivion. Of course, the plan does have one major drawback. Sergeant Jones, who set up the explosives and was intended to detonate them, is probably in the process of being digested. Perhaps you would like to take his place. The military just sent a signal saying the SAM launcher is still functional and it's preparing to launch. You'd better get your ass over there and finish that damn thing off. In other words, blow the hell out of the front radiator and run!
Christ, I thought you were just a janitor. I heard shooting, so I figured it would be best just to try and keep my head down in here. And then I heard the chopper come down, and I thought, what the hell, maybe you made it back. Okay, so anyway, it looks like you've just about made it. Before the latest death squad arrived, I managed to hear the military send out a signal confirming that Freeman launched the satellite delivery rocket. You won't be surprised that they're seriously pissed off. And now you want to get out of here, right? Well, you might want to follow Officer Johnson's route. He climbed out of that air vent several minutes ago. I think his plan was to follow some kind of piping system round to a military convoy? He seemed to think it would be possible to simply stir away in the back of one of the trucks. Seems as good a plan as any, I suppose. Me? I'm gonna do what Black Mesa personnel do best. Stay here and wait for my colleagues. So long, Skinner.